Okay, I hope we recorded that. Where's the best position to hold this? Chip Irwin reporting from the South Lakeland Airport. First little hops with this beautiful long wing. The DEP I taped up for gap seals. And it, uh, it was quite impressive. It's, it's, it's a huge difference from the first uh, short wing. The wing is five feet longer on each side. The flap is as big as the, as the, the other wing. And it takes off at, 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 at 30, I'm rotating it at 30. Because the stall speed is supposed to be 28 according to FAR part 103 for ultralights. So I'm quite sure with I will put full flaps in and it, I'll be able to meet that if, if I'm already flying at 30. And what was really impressive is when I cut the power, it just floated. It just floated a long ways. This is so easy to land. Just just kind of let it settle in. And that, that means it's gonna fly. I mean, it was, it was all the way up to 50 miles an hour in a hurry, even 60, and I wasn't even using full power. But when I cut the power, it just stayed there and floated along. So that tells me that my L over D is going to be excellent, just as predicted and I'll be able to fly on really low. And clearly I was flying on less horse, on less uh, RPMs on the Polini 250, which is installed here, uh, than with the short wing, which took a lot more power to stay in the air and came down right away when you cut the power. This, I can fly at a less RPM, which means I'm gonna be able to fly very long on, or less battery, less weight on the battery uh, on electric. So this is gonna be one beautiful electric aircraft on float. Chip Irwin signing off, South Lakeland Aeromarine.